Hey guys, welcome back to Hayes Tech. Today we'll be talking about the future of the channel and repairing a water damaged MacBook. So if you want to skip the future of the channel talk, skip to this time code. Um, if not, I would really appreciate your guys' feedback on what I'm about to say. Hayes Tech has been an incredibly fun adventure for me. Um, and that, make, that makes it sound like I'm giving up on it. I'm not giving up on Hayes Tech. I still love making these videos, but the problem is these videos are... The, each video has a, a cost to it. None of them are necessarily expensive, but I can't keep putting money into projects that I'm really not um, interested in. I'll, you may have noticed some of the videos felt rushed and... Uh, not super well done, and that's because I just wasn't interested in them. I was making that video for the sake of making content for this channel. And uh, COVID has given me time to stop and think about what I want to do with this channel. And part of that includes uh, upload scheduling and, and all that kind of stuff. I do not want to be the type of creator who sets himself a rigid upload schedule uh, and has to adhere to that and uh, ends up making lesser content because they have to get something out by this date. Um, I find that I don't work in that type of environment very well and I quickly become un unmotivated, which is a large part of why you haven't seen a video recently. So, moving forward, I want Hayes Tech to be more content about things that I'm interested in doing already. I uh, have been working on a magic mirror project for a number of years. I just haven't had all the resources I needed to get it done. But now that I'm home and I have access to my dad's wood shop, I can get it done. Um, so that's a project that I would continue to make a video about. But that's going to be a little bit different than videos that I've had out in the past. This will not be a tutorial style video. Um, this will be more of a build log um, uh, in the sense that I will be recording myself doing the building it and, and programming it and all of that, but I'm not going to tell you how to do it. If you guys really, really want that, I can try and put something together, but I don't want to keep making videos about things that I'm not really interested in just for the sake of making content. So that's something you can expect in the future. And then also I'd like to do more um, video essay style videos. Um, uh, a while back I backed a project called the Blocks Modular Smartwatch. Uh, if you know me personally, you've heard about this. I was very vocal. I was a very huge supporter of it. In fact, I was a beta tester. And unfortunately, last year, or maybe the year before that, the company went bust. So I plan on making a video about my experience as a beta tester, um, kind of a behind the scenes look at what blocks uh, stood for, how it worked, uh, and all of that. And um, why I think they failed. So that's another style of video that um, that I, I want to start getting out there. But that's all I can think of right now, and that's probably not enough. So here's where you guys, where your guys's help comes in. Please, 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 every one of you, drop a comment down below with what you want to see from this channel going forward. What you think would make for good content, would be interesting, and for right now, <laughs> would be affordable. Uh, I'm hoping to get the channel to a point sometime where I can start pouring more money into these projects. Um, but right now, I am on an extremely tight budget, and I can't afford to keep putting in money to these videos. Um, so. Drop any and all ideas down below in the comments section. Uh, they'd be greatly appreciated. If you don't want to drop them in the comments, 
feel free to message me on Twitter, DM me, uh, whatever method you want to get it to me, just let me know what you guys want to see, because I want to start making videos again, and I want to be back into this YouTube thing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Now, on to the Mac. This is my mom's 2009 MacBook, and it was working great up until a couple of years ago when it had a little altercation with water. And unfortunately, it's been dead ever since. This is a similar model. In fact, it's the same model MacBook that I picked up on Facebook Marketplace for 20 bucks. It's got a broken screen that you probably can't see. But it should have a working motherboard, which is exactly what we need to repair my mom's MacBook. So, let's hop to it. The first step to this repair is actually to open up the uh, donor MacBook that I picked up on Facebook Marketplace. I'll be using an iFixit kit for this. They're not sponsoring this video, but uh, call me. That's the inside of a 2009 MacBook, if you were ever interested in that. Um, so the piece we're after is this, the logic board, um, which is just Apple's word for a motherboard. I don't know why they have to do things different, but here we go. But there are some other components we can salvage from this, like the battery. Uh, if the battery in my mom's Mac starts going bad and not lasting very long, we can try and replace it with this one. There's also an internal hard drive here that I'm assuming is going to be about five, yeah, 500 gigs right there. Uh, this has got some personal data on it, so I'll make sure to wipe that before I do anything with it. There's also a CD drive here and some extra RAM. So we will start taking everything out here. Our internal hard drive can be removed, and uh, I have the old hard drive, uh, which is just the same, 500 gigs, um, maybe not even that. Uh, and I could put that in uh, back in the system later, but as you'll see, I will be upgrading this to an SSD to breathe a little bit of new life into device. Haha. -ha. Now you want to be careful when you do this type of stuff because there are, god that's gross, other um, connectors on the other side. In this case, I was lucky and there's only one, but these things are not set in stone, so there you go. That is the piece we're after in my mom's Mac, and it is gross. Ugh. I am going to give this a clean with some duster um, and make sure that everything's looking good. And then I'm going to go ahead and take apart the other MacBook. Uh, and I will see you guys after that. All right, I have removed the logic board from our original MacBook. This is, again, my mom's MacBook that uh, had some water damage. I don't see where the water damage is, but that doesn't matter because 
we have our replacement logic board right here. And we can just go ahead and start putting things back into place. So, we'll start with this connector here, which is the only connector uh, on this side of the board. And we'll just work our way around. Alright, so that is that. And, at this point, I could go ahead and put the battery back in and the old hard drive back in, but as I said earlier, I'm going to be upgrading that hard drive uh, to an SSD to make this thing run zippy quick. Um, so, I will go ahead and copy that data over to the new SSD and we'll get moving. Alrighty, now the data capture or data uh, transfer has been completed. This is the original hard drive that was in the Macintosh, and this is the new SSD. Uh, you'll notice there are little prongs here on either side uh, that actually slot into the uh, rubber um, dampeners that keep the, uh, the device secure. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and remove these rubber or remove these posts and put them on the new SSD and then we'll put the new SSD in along with the battery give it a charge and then we'll test it out so it's beeping and according to the Apple support website one tone repeating every five seconds means there's no RAM installed so let's see if we can do something about that just so that the uh, electronics there are not touching anything. Grab power. I've got a light, that's a good sign. <laughs> the screen's on. Oh. <laughs> yes! That's awesome. So, it may take a little bit to boot this time just because we're booting for the first time in probably more than two years now. Uh, but that worked. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, there's a button down there. If you didn't, there's also a button down there for that. Uh, don't forget, please, please, please leave a comment about what you want to see from this channel in the future. Um, I'm hoping to get back into the YouTube thing, and I'm kind of changing how Haze Tech is, so any and all suggestions I'm open to. While you're down there, 
hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, it really helps the, uh, the channel. And in the description I'll have links to all my social medias. Um, I don't post there all too often, but feel free to, to uh, come say hi. Uh, thank you guys again so, so much for watching and sticking with me through this kind of transitional period. And I will see you guys in the next video.